I've experienced it even before, like I was like as a minor. Unona vile uliko meva, ulijileta imaneno. You feel like she's your property. To me, it means um, it is violence, eh? whether it's physical, emotional, and sexual kind of violence. To me, it means um, any uh, sexual act or form of harassment directed towards someone because of their gender. It's not something good to harass our children or our women. Basically, for me, it means any type of sexual harm based on your gender. Forced sexual misconduct, so that's what I understand by sexual SGBV. Me, Kilema and Zagombia, Dile, Okekita and Junona, sexual harassment, Zile, Zakiman, Zakidem, it is all happen. When women are beaten up by their husbands or vice versa, because in some places it happens, the, the wife beats the husband. These are violences that are directed to people against their will, mostly in relation to their gender. The guy said he raped her because she was drunk. She was asking for it. In fact, I'm doing this for you, I'm beating you, this is for you, it's not even for me, I'm helping you. Eh? We are married. If she didn't dress like that, then she wouldn't be in this position. We are dating. You feel like she's your property. Why wasn't she at home at this time? I'm beating you because you know when I'm I've been to parties where just because I flirted with you, gave you some few sweet words, you feel like you're entitled. So somebody assumes that just because someone's dancing with you, Nikama, they have to go home with you. They're just having fun. I'm with her. She's blacked out. I'm taking care of her. Then you find many chicks waking up the next morning. Have no idea what happened. You're in a daze. Well, I've ever had a friend and he said the girlfriend is the one who actually provoked him. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Personally, no. I've not experienced any. Yes, I have. Yes? I haven't, but I've heard stories. I don't get to see you when you experience. You don't get to see you when you're a When you're a man, you're a protector. No, no. You don't get to see you when you're a man. You don't get to see you when you're a man. But I've, I've heard the stories. I've heard experiences. Walking down the street, a random guy just passes and spanks you. I've seen people beat each other, but personally I haven't experienced. So what happened to me was, um, I was one day in CBD and I was meeting somebody. So I was standing on Mamangina Street and I was on the phone calling the person I was meeting. And somebody was walking from the side and he's walking towards me and I'm thinking, okay, it had just happened that the same person was a disabled guy and he, was, he had a walking stick, he had one leg shot on the other, so I thought he's moving towards me because, um, you know, he's just trying to maneuver, you know, maneuver around those people. And so he gets up to me and he grabs my boob, and he pinches it, and um, he stood there in shock, me in shock, and I remember smacking him on the face like, what is wrong with you? People's reaction was like, wewe, unachapa kilema wewe, but that was my... I'd say possibly my highest level of gender based violence I've experienced. I've experienced it even before, like I was, like, as a minor. We'd gone to some competition at Science Congress, the competition we needed to go to so that to qualify for nationals. After the event was over, we left our teachers. It was late, it was late, uh, and we were at a boys' school. So walking back to the bus, it was just, like, filled, like, bare space. So as we were walking, we just start noticing boys walking towards us. You know, we didn't even think much of it, you know. So as we were walking and then all of a sudden someone groups me, my friend as well, and then they're closing in on us. 
So we had to run to the bus. And then upon reaching the bus, the driver had to lock the doors and like she was holding to fend them off. That's just one, two. I was walking with all the women in my family. Like we are crossing a busy road. I'm still in high school, like I'm a minor. I'm in just Missouri too. As I was crossing the road, I was the last person. Like my grandma, my mom, my aunties, all of them in Konyuma, they've been left behind and then someone just like spanks me. I'm a minor. The third one is a bit difficult. I was working, let me call it an organization, in uh, 2015. And then we just happened to be in the office with my superior. And you know, he just pinned me on a wall, me in a struggle. So the thing that saved me is that someone came and uh, opened the door. So that's just a few. Let's say, for instance, you're working um, in bus station. Then do the guys on this side, the touts on this side, that those people who are <laughs> beba, 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 so yeah, there's that. So you're working there, someone mishandles you or does something wrong, and you try to raise your voice. So this other will be there trying to put you down, like, hey, madam, unapiga kelele nini? Wewe ndo umevaa vibaya, ungevaa hivyo kama ukutaka attention ama ukutaka kushikwa, so... You go out, you have male friends. They call you like, is out, let's grab a drink. So, ah, yes, you go, you drink. Then they have an unruly friend who they cannot even control him. story. How do you feel? How do you feel? It's really sad to me, man. It makes me feel sad. It makes me feel angry. Kusikizana na mwenye mna... Munaenda dialogue. Akikata, wenda. Akikubali, sawa. It's me giving permission to someone else. Granting someone permission. Permission to do something. Agreeing or giving permission to someone when you are of sound mind. So it can be a permission to do anything. But consent isn't consent if the person giving consent is not of the right mind or under the influence of a drug. At first, okay, but you rules in a conga fun and games. No, 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 place in Afkanga, in a woman, you know, you get carried away. Juno and Kama Pio, Vinayo Rusa, and you can't guarantee a palingine. And you can't send a couple of people to be a city or not a conga back a bedroom. No, we need security for our girls and our women. But because in Kenya there is no, even if you report it, it's as if there is nothing that is being done. We need to do a lot. If I had two sons, I would tell them, please keep off from such things. Be responsible, men. As much as I'd, I'd want to protect her from such, I really can't because at the end of the day, she has to go out in the out to the world each day, and I can't be there. I know. The situation in Kenya isn't as it's not as great as we we have wanted to be. Why is I go street? No, say we harsh. Do the gang, makanga, nakamagera. So come on, as a pita to kando ya, bora to spite karibu na ya, you ni better. I was saying, you know, na patanga wa ndudi omeka tu ko base ni ni. I only say on a pita tu mno mo ona ona koga ni. There's a comment in ona koga my witness. Ona jo all about everything and everybody mashika. So. Um, it, it might be hard dealing with these issues as a woman every day. Things are going to be better for the girl child as time progresses. But as a brother, I'm here to support you. I take a bullet for you. I pay as it can happen or to stand or cut off to you, mutu. <laughs> GBV is happening and uh, the experiment confirms that yes, GBV is happening because a number of the participants say that they've either had a story or uh, they've been victims, they've been affected. And somehow the society is normalizing it so that uh, excuses created that don't walk along streets where there are uh, young men or there are touts which is actually wrong and against the law because the law protects you everywhere, in public space, in private space. So we just need to intensify application of the law to ensure that uh, it applies even in those dark streets or even where there are the conductors or uh, 
the tout so that they are aware of the law and they know that action can be taken. I'm sure if action is taken against one, a number of them will uh, desist from that because we've normalized the culture of, uh, for example, catcalling women. Just the other day about the bottom up, you see it is now being used against women. So it's just working on the social culture, but let us use the law to shape our culture because the law recognizes all our dignity as human beings.